Hello. Hello. It's an exciting day today. It certainly is. Oh, we've got some exciting news for you. So exciting, Sean's got his big boy nappy on. <laughs> today, I'm gonna to show you something I've been dreaming of doing all of my life. Justin Bieber. Another thing that I've been dreaming of doing all my life. Now, do you remember a couple of three, four weeks ago, we told you about a secret project called hashtag Operation Sherlock. Operation Sherlock. And we didn't give much away. Well, we did. We told you it was a he. Yeah. And what else did we say? We said that it was going to take a lot of research and planning and like box ticking and things like that. Yes. And you went mad with your guesses, didn't they? Somebody even said a dolphin. A dolphin, a llama, alpacas, pigs, highland coos, goats. A dolphin? A dolphin. You strange, insane person. <laughs> Justin Bieber. <laughs> As if we're going to cage Justin Bieber. He'll be in main bedroom with me. <laughs> no, it was none of those. None. None of you got it right. Shall we show them? This is Sherlock. He's a five-year-old Eurasian European eagle owl and he was born in captivity and that's one of the reasons that even as much as we'd love to release him into the wild, we can't. He's also not native to the UK, that's another reason he can't be released and that's why he's been really well looked after for the first five years of his life here. But he's going to come and live with us. Oh, you are a natural. The first and most important thing to say is that Sherlock isn't going to be a pet. Eurasian eagle owls are raptors, wild hunting birds of prey and definitely not something you can keep as a pet. They've got these big powerful feet and talons that can exert about 700 pounds of power per square inch. That's about the same as a wolf's jaw and enough to rip right through my skin and crush my arm if I wasn't wearing this protection. Sherlock's lived here at Blue Highland Bird Rescue in the Highlands since he was born five years ago. His parents, Maximus and Victoria, also live at the centre. They were brought in after their owner died. At the moment, he lives in this four metre square enclosure with another eagle owl called Marlow. And he's getting on a bit now. He's got cataracts and is a little bit slower, but he still spends his days searching for a girlfriend. Eurasian eagle owls live for about 20 years out in the wild, but it can be much longer in captivity. And that's why it's really important that they have a comfortable, safe home and somebody they can trust to look after them. They're one of the largest species of owl in the world. Sherlock stands at about 18 inches tall, but they can be about two and a half feet tall and their wingspans can be as wide as five or six feet. It's his eyes that I love. They're just amazing. This deep pumpkin orange color. They've also got this unique facial disc. It's a group of feathers around their heads and it channels sound to their ears. It's like if you hold your hand around the back of your ear like that, you do it as well, you can hear more things going in, can't you? Yes, you can. But why is Sherlock coming to live here? Why wouldn't you want to live here? Well, that's true. We are in a really unique position in quite a few ways. One is we've got the perfect space, which is right next to the woodland on our land, which means we can offer him a really big enclosure. Massive that's gonna be really peaceful, that's in the surroundings that he'd be more comfortable in. So he's got the peace and quiet and all the woodlands and the bird song around us. In our years, Sherlock's only a teenager. He's five years old to us, but yes. he's still a teenager in our years anyway. And that's a good thing because it means once we bring him here and he's gonna be interacting with me every day, hopefully he's gonna be able to develop a relationship with me and he'll be closer. Yeah. So he'll be happier. And he's not gonna have all the stress of all the other captive birds making noise around him. Saying that though, I've still got a lot to learn. I've been studying really hard and learning loads about eagle owls. Uh, I've been going to see him quite a bit as well, but I've still got a lot to learn about handling him properly. Yes, you have. Another benefit is that by taking responsibility for Sherlock and giving him a new home here, it frees up much needed space down at Blue Highlands Rescue Center. It does. Which means they can get another bird in and help them. Now, the weird thing is, is that ideally all the birds that they take in should be released back into the wild wherever they can and they do try to do that but sometimes like in Sherlock's case and Sherlock's mum and dad yeah they can't be released back into the wild and they need a home that's going to be secure for the rest of the life which is why it's been a big decision for us because yeah. he's only a young owl maybe 30 40 years in captivity so it's going to be a lifelong thing 
over the last year or so we've got to know the people who run Blue Highland really well and I think developing that trust over the last year has played a part in them really allowing us yeah. to adopt Sherlock and look after him for the rest of his life and there's a kind of pressure on on me especially because I'm going to be spending most of yeah. my time with him uh, it's quite a responsibility and what I'm hoping to do is use that in a way to educate people into yes. what happens to raptors and birds of prey like Sherlock when things do go wrong when they can't be released and I hope we can get a message across to some people on on the kind of the hard work that these rescue centers do yes we've got a lot of work to do lots well you have I think, yes he's building the muse he's building Sherlock's house and it's going to be massive we're building it right behind where we are now it's going to be 10 meters long four meters wide <laughs> And it's in a really natural habitat for yeah. Sherlock. There's going to be loads of big tree branches inside in all sorts of places for him to perch on for different places. A lot of it's going to be really open for him so he can see what's going on in the woodland and up above him. The ground is going to be natural, so it's grass and moss. It's just going to be as natural ha a habitat as we can get for him. Yes. But he's also going to have a private area which is a couple of three meters long, where he can go in, get out of the weather, get a bit of privacy if he wants a bit of quiet. So everything he needs really, and Sean's gonna be building that. This is, <laughs> this is why you've been building chicken coops, isn't it? It's in preparation. Yes, for, it is, it's in preparation. I might Sean's have it muse. done by 2025. While Sean's building the muse. I will be, yes. And I'm supervising him. He'll be bossing me about. I'm gonna be deepening the bond with Sherlock, ready for his move. Yes, you will. Also got loads of paperwork and things to sign. You can't just have an owl. There's lots of people you have to tell and about moving him and things like that. So I'm going to be sorting all that out. We have got one bit of Sherlock's new house ready, haven't we? We have, yes. Which was a gift from Blue Highland, which is his name his sign. His name and what species he is. So if you saw this on, uh, if you're one of our Patreon or YouTube supporters, you will have seen this as a little kind of teaser a couple of days ago, but you wouldn't have seen that bit that said Eurasian Eagle Owl. <laughs> so we've been keeping that from you. Uh, so there you go. That's what's going on. And that's starting this week. We're starting work on the Muse this week. And hopefully Sherlock will be coming to live with us uh, some t at some point through the summer, I think. Yes. Uh, mid to late summer. I can't wait. Uh, of course, you can follow it all by subscribing to us. Press the subscribe button. Uh, hit the thumbs up. And if you hit the wiggly, waggly notification bell, YouTube will let you know every time we're releasing a new vlog. Uh, if you'd like to support the channel, there's a link up above Sean's head or it's down in the video description if it's not there. I need to lie down. I'm, I've, all this excitement's getting to me. We've been studying three hours. See you next week. Bye-bye. Ta-ra! <coughs> Bloody hell, my clack's really acky today. To Stop putting dirty stuff in your mouth. After living with me for 31, well, 30 years, your gag reflex is actually well trained. It's just disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> I've been studying that long, my feet are taking root. <laughs> the other benefit is that because he's not going to be... Jeremy Corbyn, that he's only a teenager in owl year. Owl, owl year. Nah. What's f <laughs> <laughs> You can't put that on. You can't put that on. <laughs> Is it something I'll ever experience? No! <laughs> <laughs> Start you can't crying. put it on! <laughs> He'll start crying. <laughs> Can you make Yorkshire puddings out of it? The other good thing is because... It's <laughs> Another good reason is that in owl year... You shouldn't say things like that, it won't make me laugh. Saying that, I've got some... I, I, <laughs> oh, ah, ah, I've just... <laughs> Another benefit is that by re... Uh, uh, hoo -hoo. Can you get cuckoo? I can. Cuckoo! <laughs> You laughed that hard, then I could smell your lunch. <laughs> <laughs> like, get people, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh.